is our kitchen in the hostel and this is the reception of the hostel <laughs> and yeah we are staying in the German Colony guest house yesterday we we fell asleep like immediately because we were so done the whole day was so stressful yeah and now we are making our breakfast we've got oats and apple and banana and coconut juice and this juice is actually really good so now we're going to pick up our rental car we just got into the train it was like super close we didn't think of this security checks which took quite long so at every train station there are security checks where they check your bag so it always takes a little while let's go that way now we can start and we have to type in a little code before we can start the car that's pretty nice so everything is secure Bread. Bread. So we might just try some of these. What are they called? I don't know. I don't know. Just try it. It's fresh bread. Let's put it in the bag. It's like a big bag <laughs> for two mini bananas. <laughs> hummus, hummus, hummus. Not hummus, but hummus. Who? Which okay. one? Is it 800? Do you think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. We, we should take one of these. It's like. <laughs> three kilos of hummus. This supermarket is actually like in Germany. We don't know what we should eat today. <laughs> it's too much here. It doesn't say what the price is. So we just arrived uh, at the seaside resort in Rosh Hanikra. Here are no tourists at all. Everything for us. <laughs> so I think when you're a tourist, this is a must see, this uh, site here. gonna take the train down and then yeah I, there's a cave and something but I don't know yet <laughs> thank you a love story between the sea and the rock that's Rosh Hanikra Also, 
that it took like ages, but it actually now looks like super amazing and cool. So this is like really nice to know how this actually works. We moved on and on and on and like ages ago and then there was the fence and I was just leaning on it and I totally forgot and then everything I had this everywhere well and so like all my legs but then they had something to clean it and now I actually got a t-shirt for that because my t-shirt was like totally <laughs> totally with paint back here <laughs> did a little mess I'm looking stupid this is nice. It's nice yeah. So generous. It's our fault. I don't have a savannah. Thank you. Okay, no problem. We're sorry. Nice yeah, you too. Bye bye. Thank have you. Nice bye bye. 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 So, right now we are going to Keshet Cave. So, we've actually just been there, just walked down there. It's about a 10 minute walk and this is like a cool cave where you can like look through it and now we are walking there again with our cameras and we might see a cool sunset but we might also not see a good sunset because the weather is actually not that super good it's like kind of foggy right when we came there were like three big buses with, lo with lots of uh, kids from school but they've just left so it's pretty cool there's there was actually no one there, but then another car came, so but we hope that there are only like two people. We just tried to watch the sunset but it was actually not very nice at all because it was super cloudy and it was just like gray and getting dark and we couldn't see anything and the drone wasn't really fly flying either so we couldn't take any good shots but we took some good photos and like some good footage so this is Akko now and this is where we're gonna stay for one night and it's near the sea and now we're gonna have a look at it at night because there are actually some cool lights over here. I'm trying to see if there's something cool here. Kitty. Do they actually not have cables under the ground at all? Because there are always cables everywhere. Do you know I, that? I really don't know. Because like even in a city like this, maybe not in Tel Aviv, but here, there are cables everywhere. Look, there's a cat up there. Is it? No, it's a stone, I think. <laughs> Funny. Oh! Climbing on walls prohibited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 